hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about ios 18.2 it is going to be a kind of a long term review as i'm using it for a while i will talk about the battery life performance and some of the issues that are going with this update so without any further delay let's start and let's talk about the, the with the battery life so i will go to the settings over here and this is I'm already into battery life. This is today, as you can see. I use pretty much 95% of my battery life today. And the screen on time is 5 hours and 18 minutes. This is insane. Uh, YouTube for a while, tap bad threads, and some other applications. Um, it is really, really good. But I just got this battery life good today. Before this, battery life was really, really bad. For example, if I go to this day, as you can see, I use pretty much 80% and it was 2 hours and 30 minutes. And if I go to another day where I used like 80 to 83% and I got just 52 minutes screen on time because torch was on for a very long while and it took the whole battery life, being very honest. And if I go to this day where I use like 75% and it was just 1 or 20 minutes and the most battery was consumed by camera. But today I was using YouTube and I was using other apps like TabMan that is also a sport app where I watch cricket matches and some other apps. And today I got a really, really good screen on time. So I'm happy with today's screen on time. But other than that, I was 18.2. Battery life is not going good as many people are also complaining about that. I will talk about the issues at the end of this video. So this was the battery life. It's It was decent today. It was good today in fact. It was even the best today but it is not a uh, good in pre couple of previous days. So I will rate it is okish battery life uh, for the iOS 18.2. Now I want to talk about uh, definitely about the uh, performance. So for that I will go to the Geekbest score as Geekbest score is also decent. If I go to the CPU benchmark over here, CPU history over here, 1330 on a single core while 3082 on a multi-core. If I compare single core with the average i4 10 score, single score are good. If I compare the multi-core score, and as you can see, uh, on 18.2, I'm getting a way better score than the average one. So you can get the idea that how the performance is going on. So yeah, all paper scores are good. If I go to the GPU benchmark over here, GPU history, the, it is also 18.2 as you can see, and 9868, which is insane. If I show you the average score, that was 8182. So which means I'm getting a way higher scores on this device with a GPU benchmark too. So in terms of uh, marks, or you can say in terms of scores, on paper things look really really great and yeah overall in the usage performance is a very decent i haven't sort of any lag issue nothing going on so battery life is decent performance is also decent now let's talk about bit of uh, bugs that are happening um most importantly a touch responsive issue is going on so i'm just going to show you i'm going to give you an example of touch response issue so for example this is something and i want to edit this picture from here i do a crop i do air i don't know if it is work, going to work right or not as you can see i'm d doing done it it uh like took two taps two or i think three taps and then it is done so yeah there is some touch responsive issues going on also, some people are complaining that they are seeing gray line in the photos. I am not seeing that. Um, sometimes it appears, sometimes it disappears. But in the 18.3 beta 1, it is not there. But 18.2, it is sometimes there. So yeah, that is also happening. Other thing that is the uh, issue that is the battery life. Because battery life is a problem for many people. People are facing battery draining issues or 18.2 but after using 18.2 for so many days i think battery rating is pretty much fixed this is the screenshot that i took early today as you can see overnight just five to seven percent was dropped so yeah that is decent being very honest so yeah during this time i didn't use my food so yeah overnight five to six percent or five to seven percent for this much old device it quite decent but yeah other than this there is nothing issue going on but these issues are actually big the touch responsive issue 
the gray line photos app along with the battery dating issue is quite big so apple need to come up with the update 18 by 2 by 1 to fix those issues and my that update might come out but yeah this is all this was a simple a long term review in which i talk about the battery life performance and the issues going on what are your thoughts about this video how is your device is performing what ios version you are using let me know in the comment section below this is all from this video and i will see you in my next video until that take care peace out